In another development, President of the Senate, Senator Gautio Apabio, has extended his condolences to the former President of the Senate, Senator Bukola Saraki, over the demise of his mother, Chief Mrs. Florence Saraki. Senator Apabio, while leading a delegation of senators, conveyed heartfelt condolences and offered prayers for strength and comfort to the Saraki family. The good thing is that we are alive to ensure that you give her a befitting farewell. Another aspect of it is that she, she died at a ripe age, not necessarily a ripe old age, but a very ripe age, at the age of 88. So God was very kind to her. And God has remained kind to your family. So we as the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we decided to come to pay condolence on you, to assure you that we are with you in this moment of grief, and also to reassure you that you still have us to lean on whenever you need any advice. We will also be there with you on the final interment in line with the Christian rites of passage. For Senator Bukola Saraki, the support and solidarity extended by Senator Akpabu and his colleagues serve as a testament to the unity and compassion that transcends political boundaries in times of mourning. If I say thank you, uh, it will not carry the depth of gratitude. You had called immediately, I think the first day when I lost my mother to console and sympathize with the family. I only got into Abuja here and I know you were at an official program when you heard that I had arrived into Abuja and you brought pro pro protocol and just went from there and came here to see me. Those are, that is act of somebody who truly cares, who has compassion and who sees beyond the political environment at all times. You've always shown that brotherhood towards me and to the family. Let me thank you for, for coming. Deputy Senate President, let me also thank you to Natasha and of course my own Senator and in the entire National Assembly of the tent which you represent. Chief Mrs. Florence Araki, a respected figure in Nigerian political and social circles, passed on at a residence in Ilorin, Kwara State on the 18th of June at the age of 87.